And welcome back to the Sydney Football Stadium. As young Riley Dax, the four-year-old, the son of Jimmy and the nephew of the late Steve Dax, leads the Roosters out hand in hand with Brayton Astor for this much anticipated game at the footy stadium tonight. The red, white and blue army, I've got to tell you, they've been outnumbered very much by the black and gold. Three changes to the team from last week. Mini is back, Friend and Con. They come in for Cooper Ritz's Payer and Leilua. Played the Tw Tigers twice for wins on both occasions with contrasting score lines. 76 in the first and 20 in the second. Aggregate points. Robbie Farrer brings out the Tigers. They too are much stronger side. The return of Fulton, Daniela and Gibbs. Six of their squad from the grand final in 2005. Still in the side today. And including Mr. Marshall. Benji, of course, the other side of the feature clash that this match has been talking about. Marshall versus Carney. Five finals appearances. A real superstar. New Zealand captain. And there's his partner in crime, Robbie Farrer, named the Hooker of the Year for the second time at the Dally M's, and he laid on three second-half tries in vain against the Titans the other night. Big Lottie probably thought he might have been playing Bledisloe tonight. Two years ago. Now, the NRL are pausing for a moment's silence for 26-year-old Constable William Cruz, who was tragically killed in that drug investigation raid on Wednesday night. So I'll take you to the ground announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for a moment, Silas, please. Ladies and gentlemen, in remembrance of Senior Constable William Cruz, please be upstanding, ladies and gentlemen, for a moment, Silas. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys. Well done to the NRL. Paying that tribute. I think they're going to do it tomorrow again at Cogra. A man that was out there serving to protect us. Well done to the crowd, showing the necessary respect as well during that minute silence. Benji about to get us underway. Something special is about to happen here. One gets that feeling. Marshall will kick off. They're running to the southern end, the Tigers. They're running towards their own territory in the first half of this game. And it's Jason Riles with the first carry for the Roosters. 15 back from his own line. And here's a very big tackle by Gibbs. He has nailed New Asala, is it? and driven him into the ground, almost leaving a divot. Massive tackle. So the Roosters are out at the 30 metre line with Riles on his second carry. And then Mitchell Pearce driving the kick down, bounces on the point, and Brown it is. The Cronulla Junior again shuffled around in the Tigers lineup playing at the back tonight with Jeff Daniela being driven into the ground, playing in the centres, filling the gap indirectly, of course, for Wade McKinnon. And here again is Gibbs, who hasn't visited. There's Wade McKinnon and Chrissy Lawrence behind him. Now for Todd Payton. Big Gibbs hasn't visited the try line since the 05 grand final. Galloway with a strong run 
They've come off the blocks a bit stronger tonight, it looks, in the first seconds of the game than they did last week. The kick was good, Perrett was good. And Perrett marking it back on his own 10. I thought they might have been able to get through. The chase is on Sam Perrett there. He's able to take a, a catch, not leaving the ground. This is where the Roosters are so good. They're outside backs running from dummy half out of their own end of the field. That's Kenny Dow carrying players. 20 tries in the regular season. Hasn't been done since 74 and Bill Mullins. And 12 tries in his last seven games. The man Peter's talking about, Kenny Dow. It's gone over there to Mitch Orbison. The 12, he might have taken one a little bit high, but he fell into it. James goes to dummy half, ball to Carney, right foot kick, down towards the wing on the side here is a bow Ryan on the western side. And he'll play the ball, you can see the, the chalk, he's only a couple of metres in from the line. As the Tigers through Marshall, no it's not Marshall, but Daniela, they settle it. They come out towards the 40 metre line again with Bo Ryan. And he'll play the ball just short of halfway. West Tigers up against Sydney Roosters. Three versus six. Hyington up the middle strong. Played back to Farrah. And it's gone away to Marshall. He's crossed the red line. He threw it over the head of the bloke with the red hair. Galloway. It's gone to Louie. And Louie will play it now. 25 out from the Roosters line on five. Through then to Marshall. And he goes high into the southern uprights, into the in goal down there, the bat down from Farrah. It's a big bat down. Hyington's got a chance, but he run back into the traffic. And they spread the ball. It's gone out to Mitch Orbison. Well, I think if Chris had his time over, he would have come right side, but he ran straight back into the ruck area. He just had to look around. If he turned around, there was three unmarked players out on his right-hand side. It would have been a try for the Tigers, no doubt about it. Good recovery by the Roosters. James Orbison up the middle, scampering away, taking pressure off. And so it's with Minicello now. Back from the hamstring. It's gone to Carney. And then it's back to Uniwasal has copped another one from Gareth Ellis. <laughs> Welcome to semi-finals, Frank. And he's messed up the play of the ball. And the Tigers are loving it. Back slapping happening. Big defence has forced a mistake. This is like old times. <laughs> Wharton and Sterling in the box. And, and Warren in the middle as we see the Englishman, whose father flew out during the week to watch his son play yes. in the NRL finals. Yes. He'll be happy with that. A good tackle, lad. Yes. A couple of big hits early on. Orbison has been the recipient on both occasions. The kid from Castleford. Sorry, New Asala. So Louis across for Marshall, jinking, doing fancy things. Takiri plays it outside 30. This is Ashford, born at Paddington, about 100 yards from here. He'll play it inside the 20 metre line. Back to Farrah. Farrah dummies and decides to try and split the markers. And Riles pounces upon him. So now it's come away. And again, it's with Marshall. This time he drops it onto the tummy of Bryce Gibbs. And Gibbs is eight metres out from the line. Farrah floats it out. Payton, they've got a chance here, Gareth Ellis. Oh, he dropped the ball, I think. Hold the phone. I think Gareth Ellis, looking at his face, has dropped the ball. That was lovely play by the Tigers. They created some numbers. There's not a look of confidence on his face. I don't know what he's saying there. Bit of a shake of the head. I think he's dropped it. He doesn't have to say much. The expression says it all. Todd Carney coming over. And he knocks it out, which he's allowed to do. Oh. And Gareth Ellis, so close to getting the first points tonight. Do they come in afterwards? The Tigers. We didn't see the ball leave the grasp and where it finished. Because if it was knocked out by Carney, then the Tigers could have chased through. But Yeah, I think it might have gone over the dead ball, Pete. A bit of force in that. They do chase it. They think they know what's happened. Oh. Aisha just misses. Yeah. Dally M player of the year. Dally M 5-8 of the year. He saved a certain try. He also won the Proven Summons medal. And it was the pass from Robbie Farrow which gave them the numbers. The cutout pass, a wide pass to his left. And he has such great vision. 
and intellect with his passing game, does Robbie Farrar. That created a doubt wide for the outside men. This will be a red light. We just need the decision on the back of it. Line drop out. So if Aishford had have been able to touch down inside the, the in goal area, it would have been a try. Ruled to have been a strip here by Todd Carney. He forces it out, and Aishford goes oh so close. Yeah, that's why it's a line dropout. Yeah. And it's it was been a... forced dead by the defending side. So Braithard Astor asking the questions. Shane Hayne explaining it the way that Peter Sterling did. As a Nasta gets a kick away, but it's well, it's very low. I was about to say it's an awful kick, and probably Braith would say the same, but. It didn't have a very high trajectory. And this is Bo Ryan playing the ball now. He's 32 metres away from the line. The groan from the crowd was for the pass from Hyington to Payton. And now back for Hyington. And up to the 20 metre line. They've had a lot of territory, haven't they? As it goes from Farrah around the back for Louis and then for Ellis out there. Trying to aim. Down the same pathway, Farrah's kick, Galloway kicks, Galloway picks it up, gets the ball away, they're over the line, and I think it might be held up in goal. I think it's the same man, isn't it? It's Gareth, Gareth Ellis, Ellis again. <laughs> oh, he's not having no luck. Well, his dad, as the boys said, his dad's out watching the final series. He's put on a big hit, and then he's been over the line twice with no good fortune. And I think you'll find it six again as well. What about big Keith Ronaldo there towing it through? So Gibbs has cut out, and here is Ronaldo with the ball now. Galloway, three metres out. Surely something's got a crack in a moment. Here's Louis. Two metres from the line. Exclusively live. The final's on nine. And it's high drama here as Peyton goes long and wide to Marshall, who holds it back. And it's a lovely little play from him. Hyington takes it. But the Roosters don't take the dummy. Danielle along with the ball. Now for Gibbs. Stuttering on left and right foot. Popping it out. Touched by the Roosters. Did he play it? At, I don't think so. Farrah puts a grubber in. Oh, and it's well done, Pierce. But I don't know that Robbie would do the same again. Well, I think they had to go through the hands. And that was a fourth tackle kick. They had one up their sleeve. So the Roosters have defended so well there. And now they'll get a penalty. That relieves all pressure. Yeah, the first one of the night. Did a great job there, the Roosters. You look back in patches of play as to what contributes to your win. And it may well be the first five minutes that they will look back on at the end of this as to a crucial period of the game. Over the line twice, Gareth Ellis. But the scoreboard remains the same. Every time they've gone left, Pete, it just seems as though they're going to score a try. There's an overlap every time they go there. 62% of time with the football in favour of West Tigers as the second ball gets onto the ground. Matt uh, Checken gets rid of that. Nate Miles is with the ball and the Roosters visit Tigers territory for probably only the second time in the game, which is eight and a half minutes old. It's come from James Orbison, gone from Todd Carney, back across the ruck, and then Mitchell Pierce, back for Mitchell Orbison, then for Anthony Minicello, down, told to play the ball, tackled by Louis, Carney goes away, Mitchell Pierce goes on, Kenny Dow is tackled, 20 away from the line now. Play on the eastern side, the lower decks of the grandstands over there, filled to capacity as Carney puts a high kick towards Bo Ryan. He didn't get a clean shot at it. The ball bounces away well, though, for the West Tigers and eventually finds the Western touch line. It'll be a Tigers ball. It came off a Tiger in a touch, but it wasn't played out. It was flicked back by Phil Graham. And Brad Fittler's sideline, a little bit of pressure now on the Tigers not to get frustrated after those early chances. Yeah, absolutely. I think the, the Roosters can take some real confidence out of that first five minutes. Um, they're having a bit of problem coming out of trouble. You're watching Frankie Paul. They've moved him from the edge where he plays so well and did during that middle part of the season into the middle. He's, and we've seen in the middle, he's not as big as he used to be. So I think when Jared comes on, that'll change, make him look a bit faster, get him over the 
get them over the advantage line a bit better. This is Daniela playing the ball inside the 20 meter line. And now for Brown, wearing number four, playing full back, repeating McKinnon. McKinnon not playing as it goes from Louis and away for Ashford. And Kenny Dowell has got him by the left arm and drags him down. Has a second dip, Kenny Dowell is a bit lucky to get away with that. Now to Kiri, and Lottie is tackled right on the halfway chalk. Here's Farrah quickly out, Louis quick in support, a fend and a push, and coming across the ground, floating, almost graceful. Got it away to Marshall! Marshall's inside 20, taken 10 out, head on, Minicello. Good work by him and Pierce to wrap it up. Bit of a scuffling back play. It's a fight between Pierce and Marshall. The kick into the end goal. Kenny Dowell's lost to Ellis. Ellis has scored. Third time lucky. Third time lucky for Gareth Ellis. I think. Well, let's just hope that when we come back to where there's been a, a bit of a fracas, that it's not initiated by the Tigers. Don't look at me like that, Fatty. There's an S on the end of it. I just wanted to make sure it was a fracas. That's the French pronunciation. That's the one. What about a fracas? And as Gareth Ellis celebrates again, we've still got the, the officials, or two of them, standing over on the 10 metre line. And we're going to have a look at the fight before anything is awarded. Benji Marshall taken by Anthony Minicello. Over the top, Mitchell Pierce. Yeah, something happens up. Obviously, after the play, the ball, Benji lunges into him and pushes him. Nothing. There's nothing. And then he throws oh. the punch. There's something there. Yeah, but in the wash-up, it's got no effect on the play. I know that, Pete, but I'm tell I think this will be coming back. I, I think you're right. Yeah. I've I think you're right happen. because, you see, I think you'll find Marshall will be seen as the man playing the ball, interfering with the marker, and he throws the first punch. Then you start thinking about poor old Gareth Ellis. He's, he's apparently not allowed any entry into that in goal area. No down try. There. No try. No try. No try. This will be a penalty, a penalty to the Roosters. Unbelievable. The golden rule is when your team's in possession, Can you, that to me? Absolutely. you can't That's what we're here for. Push step up. over the line Lord and be aggressive. The first punch. Yeah, he's grabbing right the ruck. We're trying to get a quick play of the ball. Of course, he's going to push him away. Yeah, we don't punch. That's what the is for. Don't punch. Well, there you are. It's come from Shane Hay. Now, Gareth Ellis is headed for the gap. He's gone to Watson's Bay. I think he's planning on jumping. Well, what about Don't his... jump, Gareth. His dad's flown 20,000 miles. He got him his first try score tonight at decent odds. <laughs> his dad's with him. Oh, I can't <laughs> believe his bad luck. So, what a start. I think I said at the top of it, I think something special's going to happen here. Well... It's special, all right. It mightn't be out of the ordinary, or it is extraordinary, actually. His new Asala playing at 12 metres on his own side of halfway. Nate Miles is heading for the turf. Back first. And again, Gibbs was there. And Riles it is now, bent over. Now it's away with James Orbison. He's tackled 41 metres out from the line. Well, one gets the stronger opinion that the Roosters will be the first to score. If history repeats itself, they've been down with their backs to the wall. And now it's with Mitchell Pearce putting it high. Brown is under it. And Mitch Brown it is, who comes out to the 10-metre line having a look. He's been a bit of an unsung hero, Mitch Brown. He's come off the bench, played a couple of different positions throughout the season, deputising again. At fullback for Wade McKinnon. As the crowd booed the fact that there wasn't a, a high tackle penalty awarded. What a good 12 minutes to start this game. Here's Farrah. Taken by Riles. And uh, the, the ball was played fairly sloppily. Here's Marshall again. Gets the ball away to Daniela. It was like a pass to Richards. Now it's Daniela tackled. 22 away from the line. So Marshall, he goes away, long and straight on, flat. It's with Louis. It's with Takiri. Takiri is seven metres from the corner. Played by Takiri on the last tackle. It's come away to Louis again. He's playing a big role tonight, Robert Louis. Here's Farah. Puts a little kick in behind, and it's dived on by Graham. Or, in fact, it's Linnett. And if you look at the Roosters, 
after 15 minutes, they are out on their feet already. A lot of defending. The Tigers have made three or four clean breaks. And the Roosters, when their attack, have got no punch at the line. They can't make a break. And Brian Smith has reacted to that, Paul. Jared Waria, Hargreaves is out there. Jason Riles off after just 13 minutes. But it's been 13 minutes of hard work as Sam Perrett taking some of the pressure off. 25 away from their line now. And this is Nate Miles. Got a ball away to keep it alive. Second phase through Carney, through Pierce, and it's now with Linnett. A real prospect, this fellow, Kane Linnett. Plays at 30 out, five gone for the Roosters. You don't want to be kicking on the fifth back that far into your own territory. But Anesta has pulled off a lovely kick, and it nearly got inside the 20. It's clever. Just what his side needed. Paul just pointed out how tired the Roosters are. Well, they needed a break. So the skipper has answered the call. He's put it over the sideline. Now they suck him in as they make their way to the scrum. I mean, seriously, just look at this. Three tries denied. The Tigers could be in front by 20. Possession where they've been, field position. And it's not going to surprise anyone, though, is it, if the Roosters are the team that scores first. We'll have a look at this for frustration with a capital F for Gareth Ellis. He feels a bit better about himself too, Sean Kenny Dow. He was the, the player who lost the football in the in-goal area. As the Tigers win the scrum, Bo Ryan, he's had plenty of touches tonight, early on. Farrah packing in at lock, and when he does that, nearly always there's something different coming that does involve him. Daniela plays the ball then, and Farrah gives it to Gibbs, and Gibbs is met by... A fairly hostile reception from Wairia Hargreaves. Now, that is a groan for, I believe, just the use of the knees to discomfort the man trying to play the ball. We're at the halfway line, though, and Marshall drives it down. It's going to go dead, and it'll come back for a 20-metre restart then for the Roosters. Wairia Hargreaves got up, and you'll... Oh, no, he's actually... Put a little pat on the back of Bryce Gibbs's head. No reaction from the officials, nor there should be. There was nothing in it. Although I suppose some Tiger supporters might think there was nothing in what Marshall did to Pierce. You know what happened to them? Same thing will happen to you guys. It was quite unlike both those players to become involved in a fracas. Pierce and Marshall. Thanks, mate. Played then by Wairia Hargreaves. And here's Brace, and that's a jogging tackle on him. Got him and for he's a lost the ball. No, he's... He got him for a high tackle. Yeah, it's a penalty going to the Roosters for a high shot. You saw his head rock about. That's sort of came up off... Oh, it might have been the last one, was it? Yeah, it might have been the third man in. Please. Well, it's 3-0 the penalty count, and it's one area of the game they haven't fared well in the Roosters. They've only won the penalty count this year on three occasions from the 24 played. As Orbison sends Maria Hargreaves. Oh, and another his back. classic tackle and from that man Gibbs. Bryce Gibbs has pulled off some pearlers. Nate Miles at the 20 metre line. James Orbison. Goes short, Pierce in and away, or trying to zig and zag his way through on a short side. Played again for Orbison, then Carney, new Asala, and he's hit by Gareth Ellison, put down. So they've been aggressive, haven't they? And they've been frequent with their work. Ellison Gibbs, here's Carney. Most dangerous, he's averaging 11 points a game. Oh, he's hurt. He might have caught an accidental set of knees in the back. He ran into this tackle very awkwardly. But they're well aware that Todd Carney, this area of the field, will take on the forwards with that big sidestep. There it is there. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's, a, it's not knees. No. It's a whooshka around the chops. And uh, this will... No, there's no penalty. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Got a late call. Let's have a listen. No, you can't. Not at the moment. Up on your feet, can I? 
It was high, contact was high, that's on report. Okay, on report. Uh, Gareth Ellis has been in just about everything that's happened here in the opening 17 minutes of the game, and the penalty will swing the pendulum towards the Roosters. What do you do here, Paul? Well, I'm thinking they might have a shot at goal. I mean, I, I wouldn't. But, you know, just to get points on the board, haven't had much ball. I'd be going for more. And they are having a shot at goal. They shot. Are. I yep. just thought that they've had rare opportunities down this end. But I guess you can understand the fact that 2-0. Well, I suppose, look, they've been doing it hard. Is the high shot again, Ellis. They have been doing it hard. They haven't been down in this area much, and I think they probably need a rest. The man who was... Uh, well, Robbie Farrer is just complaining when Wairia Hargreaves was picked up and dumped on his back by Bryce Gibbs. He did lash out a little bit. It wasn't a punch. But Robbie Farrer is just making the referee aware that that had taken place. The referee said there was no punch throw and play on. So no joy for the Tigers in a few different areas tonight, most notably the scoreboard and Todd Carney in good position to opening the scoring tonight after 18 minutes. As I was about to say, he's averaged almost 11 points per game here at the footy stadium this year. 10 tries, 34 goals, one field goal. 109, make it 111. There are the first points of the final. 2-0 Roosters. And a welcome to our network stations taking us around the rugby league community wherever you might be. I don't think I've witnessed too many starts like this. It's been a mile a minute. Post broadcast coming to you from Sydney, from Channel 9. And as our Australian audience rejoins us live to the Nine Network exclusive coverage Wairia Hargraves is tackled on the first Perrett bounces away from the second but he's held by Todd Payton the ball will be played on the 30 meter line and being played back for James Orbison who started the game not Jake Friend that is New Asala on the 40 meter line James Orbison again short for Pierce similar pass for Anasta and Nasta will play the ball eight metres into Tigers territory. That's Linnett and Kane is pulled down just outside the 30 metre line. West Tigers end of the ground. Pierce right foot, high kick, plenty of hang time. Under it, Brown. Good take, Mitch Brown. Little juggle at the back of it. Well, he did well to regather that as Lottie Takiri takes the first tackle off the dummy half. Starting to get a little bit of a roll on now on the back of possession. The Roosters. Bo Ryan. His own 30. So Payton. And Galloway. And Galloway. Back to the benches. To the 40 metre line then. And Gibbs, who's been punishing. He stepped around New Asala. Picked up by Waria Hargraves. In combination with Nate Miles. Last tackle, Louis. Right foot down into that uh, corner over on the southeastern part of the ground. Minicello recovers, taken in ground, taken in field by Ashford. Passed then by Perrett and running the ball away as Graham. Phil Graham, nine out from his line. Carney gives it up and this is Perrett again. Jake Friend's on reps. Jake Friend has gone out for James Orbison, I would imagine. Nate Miles is with the ball. That is the change. Friend on for Orbison. And Miles is able to get it up towards 30. Held by Ellis and Fulton. Pierce goes quickly over to the prolific try scorer, Kenny Dow. Tackled out there by Ashford. Big job for Ashford tonight over there. Pierce gets a kick away, but it's a mile too big for Mitchell. It's landed in row 13. He was trying a difficult kick here, sort of kicking back on himself. He was off balance. And for a right foot kicker to get it down into that corner, difficult to do, especially with Ellis in his face. And Robert Louis is letting Mitchell know that that was a long way out. Following this match tonight, live from Penrith, Panthers up against Raiders. Two versus seven. 
a feast of rugby league live finals football only on nine you'll see that immediately following this game and then we'll go to Cogra tomorrow for a 3.30 kickoff. Dragons and Eagles. Louis again. He's doing more tonight than I've seen him do all season. He's really taken a responsibility role. That's Simon Dwyer who's on. He made some mistakes last week. It's Fulton driving in now. And he's held and put away. Seven metres from the line. Farrah then. Marshall on the short side. Puts a little kick in and it's fielded. And I thought grasped. Yes, it was, by the number two, Phil Graham. Line drop out there. So more possession coming for the Tigers. Yeah, I, I'm a fan of Robert Lewis. Obviously, earlier in the year when he first came into the team, he seemed reticent to run to the line, but he's grown in stature and confidence. Well, I think yeah. they've worked out their relationship, haven't they, Paul? Yeah. like Canberra, McCrone and Campisi. Yeah. The he's seven a true little runner. player. He's now taking the line on. He, he seems to know he's got a place in the team. And, He's had a great last uh, six or seven weeks of the comp. Well, what I'm seeing tonight coincides with a comment made only in the media last week by Benji Marshall. He rated him way, way up there, Marshall. And the kid looks like he's taken the injection of confidence from Marshall and put it to good use. Takiri, Farah, Farah, Hyington, Hyington, up to the 20. Driven back by Mitchell Pearce. He's such a strong number seven in defence. And now Bryce Gibbs left out there for quite a period of time by Tim Sheens. And why not? He's been aggressively their best. Louis again running across the ground and decides to press the pedal. He'll play the ball in the middle. Five tackles gone, ten away. Farrah puts a kick in. I reckon Ashford's offside. It's been battered though, it's been battered dead. Oh, gee, I thought he could have caught that one. I love another, another great left foot kick by Farrah. Sam Perrett, he's not real tall. He might have maybe had concerns that someone else was coming that he couldn't see, but. I don't think he realised that Lottie Takiri had gone in no, field. He probably thought he was coming. He could have caught that easy. Anyway. Well, I'll, I'll go to another level. I, I personally think the Roosters should have got a penalty. I think Ashford was in front of the kicker and gone inside the 10. That's only my opinion, but I think if you stopped it and looked at it on the right angle, you'd find he was in front of the kicker. The line dropout is good. 53 metres of it. Here's Dwyer. And that's a good tackle. He rattled him up by Rhea Hargraves. And he gets a penalty. Marker interfering with man playing the ball. Well, he got warned uh, about five minutes ago, Hargraves. Went on with it again, and this tackle gets up, pushes him, and the penalty given. Just to settle any dispute on Ashford, the boys in the tapes. Young Rowan tells me he was on side. They reeled it back, had a quick look at it. Thank you for that. Hyington will play the ball nine metres away from the Roosters line. The black and gold, the predominantly black jumper. On use tonight from Farah for Louis. A hand up on the inside for Dwyer. I mentioned he had a, a nervous game last week. He'll be keen to get it right. Louis goes across. Ashford! Ashford! He's over the line, but the corner post is gone. And there's an inquiry on this one, too. No try. Minicello has stopped him. He's come up with the football. They have stopped him from getting it down again. Desperate scrambling defence from the Roosters. I think he was going to score until the last Rooster got there. Obviously, it is Minicello, according to Pete. He was going to put bang this ball down, and Minicello gets there with his knees and legs, and no, nah, that is no try. This, this has been an incredible half, and you can look at it two ways, of course. You can look at it from the frustration for the Tigers and the excellence of try saving from the Roosters. Now, he's ended up with a football. What will happen here? Line drop out. Yeah, because he's stolen it which you can do in that instance. So there'll be another set of six for the Tigers, you'd think. Well, we 
certainly don't need any more looks. We know it's not a try. I guess, again, they're just looking to come up with the right restart. But perhaps you know the rules better than anyone. That's a line dropout. Well, I think it's a line dropout because Minnie's done exactly what you can do, and yep. you both said that. He, you can steal the ball in an attempt to prevent a try being scored, but then he's finished up with the ball, and I think he's the one that's taken it either to ground in goal or in touch in goal. So it's no try. The restart's important, and he's pointing to the upright, so it's a line dropout, Roosters. Well, Freddie, how are you seeing this one down at ground level? It's hard to say, Stella. The Roosters just don't look like they're going to be penetrated. What I find is when the Tigers are coming down on their line, they've got a lot of people in motion, but they keep choosing to pass. A couple of times they've actually run. Benji Marshall actually oh, around halfway. Robert Louie nearly ducked in around oh, the quarter. When they dummy and go and have the people in motion, they look a lot more dangerous. And Nasty gives them good territory with the drop kick. And Galloway is back early. That's what. So called him as being replaced just what seems about seven minutes ago. Farah asks a question. Yeah, he's out there now for Bryce Gibbs, Ray. So to Kiri, to Louis, who looks back to the centre, but then just drifts out towards his right. And he'll play at 22 metres out from the line. Tigers again with an opportunity. Marshall lays it up for Hyington. He hit the shoulder of the number 11 there. Braith and Astor, 15 away from the line. To the middle of the park, it's Marshall showing it out to Louis, on to Ashford, surely, surely, surely. To Kerry, it scored! Another try at the Sydney Football Stadium. His record here is good. Well, the only surprise is that it has taken so long. The thing that is not a surprise it is that it is down that side. Paul pointed out early that the left side attack of the Tigers were giving all sorts of problems for the Roosters. Well, they've scrambled on a number of occasions. They've denied Aceford. They've denied Gareth Ellis. Well, on this occasion, after nice work here from Louis to straighten and from Aceford, they can't deny Takiri. He that shall not be denied. Lottie Takiri. Five tries in four games at the Sydney Football, football Stadium. He's just gone over the strike for the sixth time in his fifth game here, back from Rugby Union. Welcome back to the Sydney Football Stadium. There is an athlete who's proven himself on both stages. Six tries in his matches at the football stadium this year. Lottie Takiri. Six tries in five games. Benji with a big job from the touchline. Look at it. Not getting much help from the poke in red, white and blue. Here's the kick though in answer to the critics and he's got it. Marshall from the touchline. Six. Plays two. That was just over the black dot, that one. Beautiful kick. But every time they've gone down there, the Roosters are in trouble. They're going to have to pull some more numbers out there. I mean, it, it, seriously, it could be 26-2. It's only the scrambling defence that has uh, kept the Roosters in it. And the Tigers have been in the Roosters 20, 22 times, 22 times, and only five down the other end for the Roosters. Dwyer, again, it's Wairia Hargreaves, now Farah twisted in the tackle, Nate Miles working in defence with Wairia Hargreaves, my apologies for a couple of graves, played by Galloway, now for Hyington, the busiest of forwards, Chris Hyington. Marshall Long, Fulton quickly, Daniela a fan with the left hand, then he wants to find the turf. Five tackles gone for the, the black and gold, and Marshall puts a banana kick over there, down inside the 10. On his line is Minicello, he passes Long, and it's taken by Perrett. And he's tackled 11 metres out. Well, they'll do that, the Roosters. We saw them score a try from inside their own 10 against Manly. Sam Perrett herring away down the right-hand side. 
after they strung together passes. That's confidence there from Minicello, knowing that you don't want to get caught down in the corner from a kick. He went to the centre. Play by Linnett. The runners with uh, the 16 for them. Daniel Conn, TAB Sportsbet Tigers, $1.95 into $1.65. Roosters, $1.80 out to $2.10. Lottie paid $9 for the first try. One triple three nine zero. If you want to bet live, do so though responsibly. It's gone out to Mitchell Orbison, gone on to Kenny Dow. He puts a kick in very early. Very early. And he's found the line about 15 away over on the eastern side. Well, Anthony Minicello is just motioning to Sean Kenny Dow. He should have kicked infield towards the try line because you see the number one back on the inside. He was onside, and he would have just about, well, no, you can see Mitch Brown coming across. But that man there, he's got 100. He knows, he knows how to get across. Toyota Cup tonight earlier, a major difference in the scoreline to a match that I, I think was repeated a week ago. Cowboys 46, Roosters 12. Fourth played fifth. Cowboys 46, Roosters 12. I think there was a point in it the last time they played which was only just, I, I think, last weekend in Townsville. Here's a half break. He's flopped it back. Takiri couldn't get it. Six more. Six more is called by check-in. Oh, Takiri ran into a, a shoulder charge from Wairia Hargrave. How grieves again. And a penalty goes to the West Tigers now. happening at a mile a minute, isn't it, Paul? It's been a terrific game. The Roosters are just hanging on. They're trying to play aggressively. Martin Kennedy's blowing up about something. Didn't seem to be a lot in that one. 14 is out there now. That's, that, in fact, is Martin Kennedy, who Paul was referring to. Hold! Farrah will take the free kick. Louis... Goes to the middle of the ground to Young Dwyer. And then they go back to Louis and they go back to the eastern side with Gareth Ellis, who's on report for a tackle on Carney. 34 minutes gone. And Galloway got rid of one, ran away from another. Louis looks at the hole. It closes as he gets there and why Rhea Hargreaves is there to make the tackle with Friend. And the ball is played 20 out. Marshall comes in, there's the inside ball. And Huntington is tackled. Well read again by Wairia Hargreaves. A little kick into the in goal. Graham's got work to do, and he's tackled in goal. And how many line dropouts is that? Uh, this will be their fifth. Another fourth tackle kick there by the Tigers. But every time the Tigers go to the line, it's very exciting, isn't it? They're always putting some sort of play on, whether it's a, a cutout, an inside ball, and the inside balls have been quite successful tonight. Look at this one here. Nearly Let's got go through, it was only good covering go defence, and then Robbie Farris sees something out wide, kicking for the uh, for Bo Ryan, as well covered by Graham. Yeah, they've covered that kick well from Robbie Farris. They know from dummy half he loves that play from close to the line. As the Roosters taking plenty of time to restart, you saw the possession count. A mile in front of the Tigers. They'd love to run one in to take full advantage of that before the break. Here's Galloway. Grayson Astor's line dropout. Not as good as a couple of the others. They started this at the 40-metre line. That's the second tackle. 18 metres away from the line. For Takiri to play it. Farrah to give it. And then from Louis. Back through Payton. Back to Marshall. Second man for Brown. Floats it out for Bo Ryan. Ryan. He's over. Bo Ryan has scored for the West Tigers. Shane Haynes to investigate. Well, we're just going upstairs to make sure of the grounding. I oh, know Matt Checken has actually said to Shane Haynes, check something back here. He was standing back at the 10 metre line on the junction and he was yelling out, waving, check something back here. Obstruction it will be. Liam Fulton going through. He's fine, no problems at all. There's absolutely no, no obstruction there. 
Jeff Daniela can't disappear. He's got every right to be there. That's a try. Might it's, have actually been just before earlier. That. I think it's here. Is it Highington going through? Really, but that's that's no drama. No, well he's run at the inside shoulder. Yeah. Todd Carney made his uh, decision in defence. And look at this, there's four Roosters defenders there, but they're just a fraction too late. And that'll be a try. They cannot take that off them. Here's the ground. He did really well by Ryan. He could have ended up over the sideline. Didn't believe that he had enough speed to, to get over in the corner, so he came back in field. Good control of the football, held onto a tight. And this will be the second of the night. Well, they've gone away from the matter for inquiry and just looked at the grounding a couple of times. Bo has got, he's going to need a bit more makeup on Thursday night, that's all. Bo knows how to score a try. It is a green light, the West Tigers, they go further in front. Look at those bays on the far side of the ground, Stephen Humphreys, the CEO, he copped a bit of flack over choosing to come here, but he told me the other day that he was confident that they could, given the bigger ground, outnumber the Rooster supporters. If you count those bays over there, there's eight bays to three. Black and gold in front. There he is, the try scorer, Bo Ryan. 29 for his career. And he hasn't given Marshall an easy kick at goal either. Benji again from touch. 25 out. He's having a magnificent game. Marshall, that is. It's on its way. It's coming back, but it's not coming back quickly enough. Marshall misses the conversion of Bo Ryan's try. 37 minutes gone, 10-2 to score in favour of the Tigers. I don't think it's... I don't think it's all that unexpected as we watch the Kino replay that Marshall would go up a cog tonight. The Dally M's and all of that, Todd Carney, his opposite number six, getting all the raps. Suddenly yeah. Marshall steps right up to the front of the stage. No, he's had a brilliant first half, but you know, in, in the big games, your best players fight, and Benji has fired tonight. He's Todd Payton coming back towards the 20. But look, if I, if I was the Roosters, a Roosters fan watching this or at the ground, I wouldn't be, I'd be a little concerned, but the bottom line is at the moment, possession is 60 to 40 in favour of the Tigers. And that reflects on the scoreboard. It could be a lot worse, but they've hung in there. And Brian Smith, you know, he needs to get to him at halftime and have a chat. So the West Tigers speeding it across the ground. They've won seven in a row at their home venues in more recent times. Louis finding Farrah, who left Peyton out of it, went looking for Fulton and found Fulton. This is the matchup in the McIntyre system that has provided the most upsets. And it's Louis trying to roll it into touch. Quite happy to just roll it into the end or towards the corner post. And Minicello beats Louis, but he doesn't beat Bo Ryan. Look, to be honest, this is where they've been a bit ordinary, Rabs. In attack, they haven't really busted the line, haven't threatened the line even. It's because of all the defence they've done. They're obviously a little bit tight, not thinking correctly. And they, come, they haven't come up with a way to get through the defence. The belt, the, oh, tell me. the Tigers' defence has been just terrific. Roosters inside 20. Narrowly, Friend goes over to Minicello and he's breasted there and cuddled out into the ground by Gareth Ellis. What a memorable first 20 minutes it's been for Gareth. And particularly for his dad sitting in the stands out from England to watch him through the final series three times his boy was over the line three times denied pulled off a big shot on Carney it was high he's on report it's worth the price of a plane ticket I suppose just to see all of that here's Hyington with the ball now Chris Hyington playing the ball for Robbie Farrah to give it away to Keith Galloway and he's up inside the 40 meter line 45 seconds of the first half to go immediately after this game we're going to Penrith 
for the Panthers, team number two, up against Canberra, team number seven. As I was saying, three versus six has provided the upsets most times under the McIntyre in the 11 years of its history. Six times, team six has beaten team three. Brewster's last game here at the SFS, they were also down by eight points, 14 to six to the Sea Eagles, you might remember. And they went on to win that game 30 to 14. Another reason that Rooster supporters might draw some comfort from. Yeah, they were down 14 nil with 20 seconds before half time, and the Roosters got a try, and then straight at the half time, and uh, they scored an eight point try, and it was all over Red Rover. 30 unanswered points. I, I don't know if that's going to happen tonight, though, but. 21 handles, 21 oh. sets, and look at this pass. Bouncing over towards Sam Perrett on the far side of the ground. He plays it on the 30. The siren will sound. Kenny Downs with the ball. 21 possessions for West Tigers. They completed 18. The Roosters had 13 uses. Eight uses less. And they completed 11. And the Roosters have made 141 tackles to West Tigers 109. Tigers 10. Roosters 2. Live on 9. This happened in the first half. Minicello hurdles Lottie. But look at this. He hits one of the photographers. Now, it all looks so simple. But the photographer has worn part of the camera I think and he split the nose probably broken it claret from the nose you never know I love a story when to it's tell. not safe to go back in the water yeah, I'll have a story to tell the grandkids talking of kids my daughter I haven't seen her all day because we've been trying to get back to Sydney Holly's having a 30 13th birthday today Holly Warren I hope you had a great birthday I'm looking forward to seeing you after this football match 13 today God bless you. Teenagers. <laughs> Farrah on fire. That's appropriate. Marshall. He's been great, hasn't he? Free ad for the battery people. Haven't seen any freebies from them. You will. You'll, you'll push it. I've got to say, I do agree with Brad Fittler. This is reminiscent of two weeks ago where Manly were all over the Roosters in that first half. Sean Kenny Dow scoring just before half time to give them an eight point deficit. We all know they stormed home in that second half. I'm sure Tim Sheens has reminded his team that this is a side very capable of doing so. No McKinnon tonight. Tim Sheens has got a special package on the bench. Murdoch Masila. He's going to make his debut in the second half, we would think. Ranks as the best thing to come out of Kibra since Benji Marshall by the rugby league guru at that school, that famous school. What about the half volley there from Robert Louis? That's adventurous. He's playing well. Now Marshall just flops it back there for Ashford. And Blake Ashford to play the ball 12 meters away from his line Penrith versus Canberra Panthers and the green machine after this live from Penrith Gareth Ellis 25 out from his line 10-2 Tigers in front of the Roosters in three versus six Tigers of course if they win and Penrith get beaten and then St George Dragons happen to win the Tigers and the Dragons would get a week's rest and go straight to the preliminary final and here is a drive on Graham 17 out from the line from Fulton in the main I really like that play to start the second half inside the first minute we've still got Martin Kennedy and, and Daniel Conn coming back over the 40 metre line Turn the opposition around, get them on the back foot. And a good chase, and that's what the Tigers have done. This is Con on his 30-metre line. Now for Perrett. 
Friend operating dummy half work while we are Hargreaves. That's a very good tackle from Liam Fulton. He's big and he's, he's fast. The knees coming at you like pistons. Now it's Brown and he's hit hard over there by Anasta. Together with Linnett. They go back and find Bo Ryan for this run. And he'll play it on 20. His own end of the park. How many tackles has Wairia Hargreaves made? Uh, 13. 13. And I'm just wondering how many minutes he's played because he's he's in everything. There he is again with Anasta in that tackle on Highington. So Farrah out from dummy half, puts a kick down the ground, rolling into vacant space. Minicello, now Graham's urgent. And he's uh, beaten Marshall, but he doesn't beat the what persistent Todd Payton. What about the big prop charging down there to clean up, make the tackle, and involved in another one? That's a big play by Todd Payton. Fulton in an assist there with Payton on Minicello. Carney is with the ball. Minicello, if I'm reading it right, is barking some instructions to... I think it was Phil Graham on that occasion. Now the Roosters at the 30-metre line with Kenny Dow. Cut down by Ashford. He's doing a good job. Young Ashford. Now the kick across the ground for Pierce to go to Bo Ryan. And Ryan looks at them and then is wrapped up by Linnett. 32 away, eastern side of the ground. And it's with Fulton now. It was a bad pass, a sloppy pass. Fulton will play it. Told by the referee, get away, leave him alone. Galloway then, up towards halfway. There's uh, about 11 bays on the other side of the ground on the lower level. Eight of them are filled with black and gold jumpers. Three by red, white and blue. So the Stephen Humphreys plan seems to have worked, and that's a jolting tackle by Highington on Minicello. And another early kick there, just the third tackle, but the chase wasn't as good. It took his own team by surprise. That was a strange one, Pete, wasn't it? Third tackle kick. All it did was hand over possession. Friend is with the ball, and Freddie's with me on the sideline. Hey, Rabs, it's a ploy we used to use at the Roosters. You get to the 40, the red, the, the line's marked in red, just kick it, regardless of the tackle. It means you're going in a game to win with your defence. And that's what they're doing, the Tigers. They're here to win with their defence. Carney tries to circle. Carney is wrapped up eventually by Farrell, third man in. Played by the Dally M Player of the Year. Pierce for Kennedy. Kennedy with the fend up in the face of Fulton. Taken down by Fulton and Farrell. Played for Friend, gone to Carney. Stops, puts it up. Not that, uh, not that high, down for Ashford. Nice take, quickly tackled by Minicello. Takiri, got a try. He's tackled 25 away from his line. Playing it for Brown. From Guy Mere Gorillas, I'm reminded by Graham Wynn. Here watching the game with great interest, the former very good dragon. Ellis is with the ball, 40 metres away. From the line, and Galloway goes ahead. Oh, good ball from Galloway. Farrer across to Payton, puts the dummy on. And Payton pulled down there by Anasta on five. Uh, player lying at the back of the play, the ball. Farrer goes away, then to Payton. Now to Hyington, now they've got numbers. He steps up his right foot, Hyington. Here's Robert Louis. He leaves the ball behind him, hoping that Minicello dives on it. Oh, that would have been a sensational try. But in the end, once again, the scrambling Roosters defence. You can't knock it. They are still putting in the effort. They're getting back there. Kenny Dow. But, gee, they can't get through the line. They can't even punch into the line at the moment. Friend off the ground. Wairia Hargreaves taken by Peyton. Over the top, Ellis. Louis underneath. 40-metre line underneath all of them. Now to the halfway, Pierce, Kenny Dow. Now, Takiri will be deemed to have knocked on, or six more tackles. It's six more tackles. Yeah, to, the That's fans the are blowing up, saying Takiri is pulled back there, and I'm pretty sure he was. So Takiri goes away. Here it is on replay. 
It was pulled back by Kenny Dow and he's attempted up, but I'm, I'm making the point to you that it would have been a knock on against Takiri. Because in making the tackle, the ball was deflected by him and you're deemed to have played at the ball under the new rule. No problems with that. Play by Minicello to the 30 meter line. Carnies with the ball, holds it back, passes at the line. Oh, intercepted by Aceford. Aceford's over halfway. It's Carney chasing. Aceford and Carney. Carney and Aceford. Aceford! Aceford! Of course. He makes it to the line. The kid from Paddo. As I said in the telecast early, is born a hundred yards from here. And he's nearly run back into the hospital. Well, he was handed the intercept, threw the pass straight to him, and then it was just a, a foot race between Blake Aceford, who's been one of the best players on the field tonight. Defensively, he's been magnificent against Sean Kenny Dowell and Mitch Orbison. And then Todd Kane looked like he was going to round him up about there. But the closer they got to the line, the better Aceford looked. He put the fend out, didn't get it down the first time, kept his head and put it down there. Beautiful stuff. Great work by the cameramen. Capturing a magical moment here for Blake Aceford, pitted tonight on Kenny Dow. Sean, one of the, well, in the eyes of many, the best centre in the comp. 20 tries in the regular season, and this kid got the job of defending. There he is, the try scorer for the Tigers. They have visited the line many times, but only he, Takiri, and Ryan have been successful from seven visits. Marshall from touch almost, 21 out. Marshall to convert, and it's out in front of the uprights and not coming back. Sideline then with Brad. Hey, Rev, this is what defence does when you're attacking the ball. It gives you bad decisions. A couple of bad kicks early with the Roosters down in this area. And have a look at these two young Colts. Although they're on the same team in the Kino replay, running next to each other. Todd Carney saved one early in the first half. Couldn't save that. Blake Aceford, he was denied one earlier, but he nailed that one. So the Roosters kick off and they kick off all oh, deep. It's gone over the dead ball line on the full. Penalty West Tigers at the middle of the ground. And it's remarkable that the Roosters have done that a couple of times this year because generally they are the most meticulous in their restarts. They take time, they get players well back. He goes through a routine, does Brayton Astor. Robbie Farrah raced over here replays would show or they did show he was screaming at robert louis leave it leave it he's he's never happy he gets his own job done and he'll do the job of anybody else that needs his help so here's todd payton running at orbison mitch farrah comes to the short side ellis is with the ball there he is inside the 20 meter line to give you the geography of it. Hyington's been wonderful. My goodness, he's a good player. He's so busy. Farrah dummies and has a go. He gets it over, they hold him up. Or do they? Shane Hayne. No, he's, he's declared held up. And it's four tackles gone. So the Tigers by 12. Drop goal. Certainly on the menu. Marshall rolls it in. Graham's had an air swing. And Minicello saves it. Yeah, knock on by the Tigers, 20 metre restart. But my word, every time they pass the ball out, they're threatening. Precision passing. Another kick. And that was the knock-on by Bo Ryan. 
So the Roosters now. With Todd Carney not held and allowed to go on. And now it's a penalty, is it? No, no, it's a lost ball. Todd a Carney lost blowing ball up. On Todd Carney. He made it made a good break. Got given a second go and they dropped off him. Took them on again. Finally tackled by the two big boppers. And the ball came out. Scrum to pack. Mistake for, for Todd. Penrith and Canberra, two versus seven, live after this. With Gus, Andrew, Wally, and Andrew Voss. Live that match. Fed by Louis, back of the scrum, Farrah, blindside Marshall. In fact, it's Daniela. Now for Ryan. Then for Louis. Behind the front rower, Farrah does the same. Marshall decides to have a go. Carney says, come here. And he tackles him and puts him away. Lottie goes away inside the 20. He's 12 metres out from the line. Mitch Orbison takes him to ground, together with Friend. Now they use Galloway as a battering ram. Hindon shows it, swivels and pirouettes before Friend is there to make the tackle on Hyington. The line is only five away. They go long and wide, out to Louis. He does it again, they're behind the 20. He's gone on to Daniela. He puts the ball out the back. Bo Ryan comes away from the Eastern touchline. He got rid of Anasta, but he's not getting away from Linnet. Together with Riles. 20 meter line just behind the play, the ball. Now for Farrah, drop goal attempt from Farrah. Farrah, he has landed it. It was on the cards, a 12 point break. And Farrah kicks a drop goal. <laughs> he wasn't expecting the football. I think the ball was supposed to go to someone else. But quick thinking, as he is, the smart little hooker. So, oh, why not? Here I am. I'm 15 metres out. I'll have a snap. It's not his best strike. And I think that Benji Marshall had the same thing in mind, who was standing in behind him. They've kicked more field goals, as we found out last night. We're talking about the Gold Coast possibly kicking one. That's their eighth of the season, and it's the fourth off the boot of Robbie Farrah. Gee, you got you know you really have to think to yourself that the the feeling amongst so many of the the punters. Oh, gee, he's flirted with that dead ball again. This is Todd Payton on the bring back. But this competition, when you see what the Titans did last night, we're watching the Tigers tonight. And here's the kid that I'm talking about, Murdoch Masila, getting ready to debut in a final. He was 140, 150 kilos when he came to Kibra Park. He's down to 105. Well, I've got the best trivia question in the world as we see Gareth Ellis up the left. Who was the last player to make his debut in a final in first grade? And you can have a thousand picks as the Tigers. Find Minicello on the pull. Does well to take it behind his back. And I won't even talk to you. It was Alwyn Simpson for the Brisbane Broncos. Well, that'll do me. <laughs> take it up with David Middleton. He told me. You are a very trivial person, Pete. <laughs> Been told that before. Sam Perrin gets out. And all he's claimed now by Robert Lee. Two metres on his own side of halfway. I've got one for you. Where is he now? Riles. Well, Sterlo can't even remember his name, and he only said it two seconds ago. Now Anasta, it's gone on to Linnet, with due respects, I should say. Graham, Pierce, Kennedy, tackle was Fulton. 15 to 2. 15 and a half gone. Second, a Carney for himself. Batted back, it'll be a no! No, we'll have another go! No, this time it's defused by Takiri. Well, they're going to have a look anyway. Smart play by Todd Carney. This is Phil Blake-like from the 80s. Little chip over the top for yourself. No one thinks he's, he scored a try, but they're checking it anyway. Very nice. Very tough to do this on the run. Little one for yourself. And there, it looked like he might get it back, but a very handy hand by Robbie Farrar. Sweeps it away. It was dangerous play by Todd Payton to knock it back in the first place. 
But he knocked it back, and, and Robbie Farah had to react. And Lottie to Kiri coming across, just in case he was also needed. Carney almost pulling off a freakish try. It'll be a line drop out. And Murdoch, Masila in 19. He's 19. He's on debut. They say he is so good. But he's come on the big stage. Tiger spotted him a few years ago in New Zealand. He was 150 kg at Kibra Park High. He lost 40 kg. And coach Greg Lenton up there tells me that he's the best to come out of there since Benji Marshall. That is a wrap. New Asala. And he's able to get it away out the back. Friend to the 20 meter line. Good meters for Jake. And the zero tackle. So Minicello gives it to Nate Miles. And Miles interrupted at the 10 meter line. Played back to Friend. Carney, they desperately need six. In fact, they'll take anything. They put a flash pass, an outside ball, inside ball, and Minicello knocks on. Look, the last set of six they had was very good, the Roosters. Just good, solid play. They tried something fancy here. Minicello came from one side of the ruck to the other, but really it was telegraphed. Everyone knew it was happening. Ordinary pass. And the Tigers read it well. And the kid that made the, 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 the ball come free was Murdoch Masila. The 19, and look at them, they come from all over the place. Tigers coming from everywhere to tell the kid, you've done a good job. Well, that'll settle the butterflies down just that little bit. That's a nice first touch, forcing a mistake in a dangerous situation. That one of the dead balls off the field so you can fly on it. Jake, not early, Jake. Not early. Right here, right here, Louis feeds Farah back of the scrum. Gives it blindside for Takiri. And the buffer is 13 points as we come to the three-quarter mark time in this game. Gareth Ellis, a repeat on report for a high shot on Todd Carney. Farrah dancing, held by Miles, got a ball away. Louis goes long and wide to Marshall. Quickly they go to Daniela. Daniela taken down by Linnet. Here it is. Slid well, Linnet. Read the play. Marshall back to Murdoch Masila. Bundled down on the 30 meter line and loses the ball. The Roosters will come back. Well, even their chances are starting to run out, so too is the time. Sorry, Ray, even more important for the West Tigers players to go over and have a word to the youngster. After a mistake, his second touch, not as good as his first. And look, they are giving the, the Roosters a couple of opportunities. I think if the Roosters can get six, they can get the Tigers a touch nervous, but they just look so impotent in attack. The Roosters against this very good Tigers defence, and I, I just don't know where that six is going to come from. This is Graham. And Pete Allen Simpson just retired from the Redcliffe Dolphins this year. In case you wanted to know. Yeah, it's Orbison. It's Orbison. Well, he played in 2007 on the wing for Brisbane against Melbourne. They got beaten 40 0 as Sam Parrott, centre field. And that six points just might come from some individual brilliance, which the Roosters do contain. So Riles to New Asala. Fulton is with him. They're That's at the better. 40 metre line, and That's Frank better. Paul won't give up. Played then for Friend. Again, they hit blindside. Pierce and Nasker. He might have run into an accidental trip there. New Asala's back with the ball. Pinton's with him. So is um, so is Gibbs, who's back out there. Carney again for himself. He's got the ball back. He passes. And Nasker scores. And Nasker scores. Hit the forward, but he's pointed to the spot. So it's all over Red Rover. And the great one. Peter Snorky Sterling spoke about individual brilliance. Todd Carney tried this a couple of minutes ago, just missed. He's done it again. And it was an even better kick because he kicked back to the inside against the grain and the pass nearly perfect, but it's a try. Just 
what the doctor ordered. Ray Finest, captain of the year. Reaping the reward from the player of the year. Simply by being. Braitha Master, the captain of the year, has picked up the try. Braith yourself. Here comes Braith. Carney. Absolutely superb. Now the shot. 20 outs. Eight in. Watch it with us. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. And up go the flags. Todd is online. Ray, there are two games that stick in my mind. The first is the one we mentioned two weeks ago where the Roosters were played off the park for a lot of the game by Manly, but they, they came home to win. The other game was round 22 where the Tigers had it wrapped up against South Sydney. By far the better side, couldn't put the game to bed and the Rabbits got them in golden point. Let's see if the Tigers have learnt from that. They can go on from this seven point lead as Ryle centre field. That kick team. That land in the middle of four Tigers players. Just beautiful it was. And that try's got the crowd back into it. The Roosters have been sitting there all night. The fans going, what's doing? Now they're up. Ball played by New Asala. This is Perrett with this backing run. What else could you call it? So Kenny Dow beats Ellis. Not easy to do. Then he runs backwards to go forwards. And he's taken out there by Daniela and Marshall. Linnett gave this pass to Anasta. Anasta looks back on the short side for Linnett. Ooh, that was close. Near the 30-meter line. Here come the Roosters again. Again, Carney goes short, but Mitch Brown reads the play that time. And he plays the ball on his own 20-meter line. Bo Ryan then comes to do Asala. He'll play it for Farrah. It's gone over for Gibbs, and Bryce Gibbs will play the ball 35 metres out from his line. Three versus six, and this is the one that's provided most of the upsets in the McIntyre system's history. As I said earlier, six times, number six has won. And that's from 11 seasons, Ray, so they actually have the better record. They've won more times than not, as Phil Graham gets Ooh. underneath, takes it. His own 20 comes one way, goes back the other, finds Minicello. So Minicello runs back to the man that kicked the ball, and that is Louis. The four is in there, Mitch Brown doing his job. So between them, they get it done eventually on Minicello. Now the markers have had to stay out of this, they weren't direct. And it was a little dodging performance then by Perrett. Sean Kenny Dow, these outside backs are coming in, doing more and more work. Played by Kenny Dow, Pierce runs across halfway and hits Carney with a good ball, but Fulton made the tackle and Fulton's injured in back play. Pierce goes on, and Astor does a spin, plays the ball 20 metres away. 20 metres away from the West Tigers line. Pierce got a high pass, that just interrupted the kick a little bit. It's gone over towards Ageford, and Ageford is claimed by Perrett. Inside 20, Takiri comes to Orbison, and Orbison hangs in there, makes the tackle with Jason Riles at the 30-meter point. Here's Hyington now. Hyington will play the ball. 15, he's inside of halfway. Liam Fulton has got a problem. Towards halfway they go with Gareth Ellis. Yeah, he's left the field, as you can see, Liam Fulton behind the dead ball line. Simon Dwyer back into the game as Bryce Gibbs straightens. Takes it just over halfway on the last. He still hasn't, he still hasn't used Andrew for feet. Come on, Barrett! Am I right in saying that? You are. He's been something of a sensation, Andrew for feet. Here is Minicello going over to Graham, and Graham is ankle tapped by Daniela and dived on by Dwyer. They're inside 30, and Nasta punches away again at the short side on the eastern side of the ground. He'll play it at the 40 meter line. And here's Linnett coming away. And he's picked up and put down by Dwyer. 
Murdoch Masila involved in the tackle. Uasala strong. And the Tigers converge. Four of them at one time in the tackle. Eight metres into West Tigers territory to Carney. Steps off his right. Bumps off another. Gets the ball to Friend. Gets it to Pierce. He got rid of one. Ball goes to ground. Referee says five tackles gone. There's another Tiger hurt. I think it's Marshall. It's gone Carney. Gone Anasta. Gone to Minatello. 101. Minatello may have scored. Here they come. I think it all looks good for the Roosters in this movement. They are, they are storming home. It's amazing how scoring points lifts a team. And the Carney tried putting it on for Braithen Astor. Got the rolling. Minicello yeah, has dropped lost it. it. He's dropped it. Unbelievable. The Ryan tackles, grabbed his hand, oh. and it's forced the ball loose. Oh. Forget what I said about looking good for the Roosters. It didn't look that good. Let me take back the 101. <laughs> well, they're coming home. They are coming home, and the Tigers have to, they have to match it. No try for one of our favourite footballers. Anthony Minicello. And at the moment, Pete, it's the Tigers who are out in their feet. All the possession with the Roosters, and they're making great use of it. It's, it's Todd Carney who's turned them around. Made a beautiful break there through the middle offload. And they had the numbers on the left, but just couldn't get there. Tim Sheens has piped himself on the sideline benches. Seven points. Seven points the margin. This is Brown. Brad Fittler, just keep an eye on Tim Sheens down there to tell us how he gets through this last 14 minutes. <laughs> He's up the middle. The blood, Bo Ryan. The blood pressure has risen. Here's Louis. Fending, passing, Hyington catch pass, Dwyer's out wide, lays it back for Hyington, Hyington on Miles, he beats him, Carney comes over, he thrusts the ball back for Dwyer, ball loose for Graham, but it's called back. Well, the, the Roosters are saying, why not play on? I have to agree, I saw a knock on there by the Tigers player, straight to a Roosters. There was a hand somewhere. It was a big run by Hyington. He's had a massive game tonight. Yeah, Simon Dwyer is the man who backed up after throwing the pass. Who tries to catch that alley-oop from Chris Hyington. New Salem knocks it out. But there's no knock on. Well, it would appear that he's ruled that New has knocked it out to a player. And has gone forward in relation to New Salem. It's the only thing I can come up with. And you sure a shot there of uh, Tim Sheens. <laughs> Your 22 got me earlier. So it's good to be back. I, I got Kenny Callender into this call. <laughs> Play by Perrett. Sit back, Ken. We're only at the clock tower. Tim Sheens and Brian Smith, the two longest serving coaches in the competition, started their first great coaching careers on the same afternoon. Well, here's Miles. On the human chair, playing it inside the 40. Carney's gone on. Away to Riles, and Riles is held by Ellis and Murdoch Masila. I just hope way Rhea Hargreaves doesn't tackle him too many times. We'll be half an hour describing it. Here's an Asta. 35 metres out from the line. Five gone for the Bondi boys. Friend goes to Pierce. Pierce comes wide. Kenny Dowell is with the ball, throws the ball back, Perrett picks it up, it's all play on, Still it's gone tackle. from Pierce, it's gone away for Jason Riles, he puts a corkscrewing kick across the ground, it's still play on, it's gone to Graham, he gets it to Pierce, Pierce puts another kick in, what's that, the third kick, it's gone down to Brown, Brown comes away, outside his 10 metre line, out towards 20, good work, good work by Brown. Jason Rolls got the ball, he looked outside, he saw Todd Carney, he said, no bugger you, I'll kick it. To Jerry is with it now. <laughs> Wonderfully entertaining game of football. Coming up towards the 69th minute.
plays and plays it. He's a good lip reader, Fatty, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> We're a long way away, but knows what was said. There's his head. He said, bugger you. I'm going to put the slipper into it. Played by Ryan. Farrer goes around the front of the man that plays the ball. There's that outside inside ball again from Marshall looking for Louis. And Louis on five. It's come away for Farrer. Farrer puts a kick down deep into the corner. It'll probably... No, it won't. It's going to be played out by Graham. He had to do that. It was a lovely kick from Farrer. Ten metres out from his line. He's taken down by Hyington. It looks as though Andrew Fafita will play the last 10 minutes of this game. Tim Sheens has played with 16 up to this stage. Fafita warming up on the sidelines as Sam Terrett gets a good quick play of the ball going. Jake Friend meters up the middle. Pierce. Yeah. Pierce it is. Orbison now to the 30 meter line. Played by Mitchell. Here's Kenny Dow. Tries to beat Aceford. But Aceford hangs on. Hangs on like a leech. Now it's gone across for Nate Miles. And he's run into Gibbs, who was awkward in the tackle, but he made the job. Peyton came in to assist. Miles pointing as it goes away to Carney. And then it was a bat on by Anasta. It's found one of his players. He leaves it on the ground. He's put it on the boot, Dwyer. And it's oh. gone to touch on the far side of the ground. Should he have dived on this one, Simon Dwyer? Yes, he had to dive on it. There was no infringement from the Roosters. Bit of inexperience there. They'll try this in the last 10 minutes of Roosters. They'll run it whenever possible. That's gone back from Bill Graham, and Simon Dwyer had a chance to dive on it. The Roosters will now get possession from the scrum. Andrew, Andrew, let's go right into scrum. Andrew Fafita's gone on, and it's a scrum, so he's been ordered off. Brian instruction from Shade. Brian Smith, 550th game, I think, this one. And Tim Sheens, he's cracked up a 600, hasn't he, as a coach? Yes, they would have started in 84, Pete, wouldn't they? Brian with Illawarra and Timmy Sheens with Penrith. Kenny Dow. The Nitto. researchers are coming out in the commentary now. Nitto. Jason Riles to the 40-metre line. Playing it down for Friend to go out and across miles through. Wairia Hargreave, Minicello, and Mini is put to ground. Almost on halfway just picked up like a sheep, about to be shorn by Hyington and thrown on the ground. To the 40-metre line for Wairia Hargreaves. Can we do something with that? Can we please? Carney, here's Kenny Dow! He's got the ball away to Perrot! He steps off his right, he jumps into a tackle, and he's put down 10 away. Five gone now for the Roosters, as it goes to Carney. Couldn't be with a better person, and he's gone to ground. Well, that'll hurt me. But you stopped him. You stopped yeah. him. Dalian Player of the Year, 5-8 of the Year, and Proven Summons medal, you've killed him. You stopped him. <laughs> I couldn't be with a better person. Well, he slipped over. Shut up. Unbelievable. For feet are out there now, and the Tigers, they are limping home. The good thing for them is that they lead by seven. That field goal from Robbie Farrer could prove crucial as Lottie Takiri. Takes the tough metres up the middle of the ruck. Oh dear, oh dear. That's Fafita's first touch. Andrew Fafita. He's done a couple of strange things, the, the cagey old Tim Sheens. He's brought this 19-year-old in on Taboo. Gareth Ellis comes off and he leaves Andrew Fafita, who's been something of a sensation this year, until the last eight minutes of the game. Tim, keep them guessing sheaves. Here is Fafita now. Here is Fafita now. Four of them had a go. Eventually they got in through Kennedy. And he has another dip, Kennedy. Got away with it. Now Louis. Louis jinx. And he puts a pass out like Marshall. Marshall-esque. And it's gone to Dwyer. He puts a kick down to Minicello. Minicello on the feet. Now running with the feet. And coming across the ground, picking up Perrot. Perrot then comes to Ashford. Oh, goodness, he's been strong in defence. That number three for the West Tigers. He's had a great year, actually, both in attack and defence. It was a great try he scored earlier. But you're looking at the Roosters, you, Todd Carney, it's all coming down to Todd Carney, isn't it? One moment, 
uh, Paul, the, the other number six, Benji Marshall, is limping very badly on this side of the field. I know whether it's cramp or not, but he's outside. Well, he's just gone inside Lottie Takiri on this side. It's again up the middle. Top Here he goes Top Tarn. He's got support. Mitchell Pearce. Mitchell Pearce. He has scored. Mitchell Pearce. He has put it down behind the uprights. It'll be a one-point game in a moment. What an exciting game, semi-final time. Benji's knee is, is crook. Todd Carney is the man. Good ball from Jake Friend. They're getting tired, the Tigers. Mitchell Pierce to try score. successful when we come back we'll replay that Marshall no good <coughs> back on air Andrew Leeds the trainer has been with the Benji Marshall the kick at goal from Carney in front successful it's a one-point ball game that number six, he was the right man to give the ball to. This number six, not well. Limping, hobbling, Benji Marshall. One point ball game, five to go. West Tigers leaving. Brown, his kickoff. Pierce goes to Kennedy immediately. And Fafita makes the tackle together with Hyington. And Marshall's off. The doctor is with him immediately. Well, I'll tell you something, Ray. They've got no changes left. The Tigers will finish the game with 12 men. So and they've got five on the bench. They've got 12 men. Benji can't go on. And here goes Orbison. Orbison down the right side. And he's gone over the touchline. Oh. Under the tackle there of Robert, Robert Louis. Louis. What a big, big play from Louis. He showed him the sideline. Mitch said, OK, you and me, baby. And Robert Louis puts him into touch. Well, he nearly put him into the lap of Brad Fittler down there. He's been great tonight, Robert Louis. And, Freddie, that would have been right in front of you. That's one of the plays of the night so far. Man, the lines and Steve Titty were into it. He nearly made a tackle leak. The boys were all leaning over, discussing tactics. A grandstand finish. The crowd's deserved it. They've been on their feet all night. This is what it's all about. Get the thoroughbreds. Marshall, Carney, let's have it. Let's get it on. <laughs> Take a pill. Get over there and check on Benji, Freddie. Benji's he's getting his knee rubbed. Right knee. He's got ice on his right knee. So the Tigers with 12 men lead by one. And we've got under four to go. And to play the ball is Brown. He plays it this time for Farrah. Farrah for Fafita, and he's to the halfway line. 20 in from touch on the eastern side. Finding Fulton, goes inside for Dwyer. And Simon will play the ball. Five or six metres into opposition territory. Fafita decides to drive back into the ruck. And they just need to hold the ball and go deep with a kick to Tigers to waste some time. And priority now for the Roosters down the other end for a field goal to make it 15 all to go to... Golden point, that's what they need. Fulton, 28 away from the line. Now they go to Farrah, he kicks down in behind Graham, Good finds kick. the line. Good kick, smart play. They'll set the scrum quickly here, the Roosters. And if we do go to golden point, of course, you get a couple of extra interchanges. So time off now called, and a crowd of just over 33,300. And they've loved every second of it. So the Roosters pack obligated to keep their heads down in the scrum. Otherwise, time is blown back on. Here's Linnett running it at Dwyer. Gibbs is there. They're at the 20 metre line, wrong end of the ground at the moment Let's, by Rhea Hargreaves. Sorry, Ray, that's the one thing that the Tigers cannot afford. They can't afford a penalty to leapfrog the opposition down the other end with another set. Muasala claimed on the 30. 
And it was a very good tackle by Todd Payton. Play coming towards the Western touchline through Pierce, outside, inside, and it's Minicello put down on the halfway line. Tigers playing one man down. They've got no replacements left. Kenny Dow's pass to Minicello brings a groan from the crowd. It's gone away to Carney, and he loses his footing under the tackle eventually of Fulton. They're close enough for a field goal. They've gone left. They want to try. Here's a Nasdaq. He rolls it in, and Brown. Brown takes it dead. Well, I thought he might have attempted Mitch Brown to, to give it another bounce. And that might have taken it over the sideline and that had come back to the 20. As it is, they'll take every second of the 40. We'll keep an eye on the referee as to when he blows time out. He thinks that the Tigers are wasting time. But they are in a great position here, the Roosters. They might have three or four shots in trying to score a try. And then they might be happy to send it into Golden Point. Carney's kicked one this year. So the drop kick from Brown to the halfway line for Kennedy to go back. Met by Fafita and Gibbs. Mitchell Tia saying headed, headed into the, towards the post, boys. There's a try in them. 30 metres out from the line. And a strong... Oh, oh, oh and Hammond! And, and Rustic! He has been hit by Simon Dwyer! And the aggressive back rower for the Roosters is still down. Well, Simon Dwyer has pulled off one of the big hits of the year. And that tackle should win the Tigers this semi-final. Whoa! How good's that? I'm glad for Simon Dwyer because on the far side he should have dived on a loose ball. He missed Todd Carney only moments ago and Carney slipped. And as Paul points out, that may be on the back of Rock Louis' tackle this side, the tackle of the night. Was that a beauty or a brutey? That was that was as brutish as you get. Or as oh, brutal. The coach. Why Rhea Hargraves is still down. Well there's no margin for error as well, because if he if he makes contact with the head, then it's a shot at goal in front of the post to win the game. Now, I don't know if there's any discussion about that out there, is there? Well, there might be. There might be. Down. Just look at Simon Dwyer then. They're going to have a look at it. Ooh. He has collected him right in the face. And the referee saying, go away, go away. There could be some action here. Now it's play on. It's play on. Scrum is setting. Now the Roosters are blowing up, saying, what about a penalty? The thing about it is, of course, it has to be bad enough to go on and report. And the video referee is saying it's not. Hargreaves coming back to the scrum now. The Roosters in a bit of disarray and getting theirs organised. Hargreaves goes into the front row. And we have 32 seconds left. And the Tigers, if they play cleverly, can use the full 32. Well, the, the Roosters need a one-on-one -on -one strip. It's their only chance here. So why Rhea? Oh, they've oh, got the ball! Unbelievable! New Asala has fallen on the ball! They've got to kick a field goal. It's gone Straight away, away to break the Nesta. He's jinking, and he gets it back to the man that might take a shot. Oh, Todd Carney! He takes a shoulder from Fafita. He'll this play is it. it on the 30 metre line. They've got to take it. They've got to take it soon. Pierce to the 30. They run for a try now. It's come down to Graham. Back to the middle. It's found Minicello. A long range shot from Anasta. He's got it. Oh, <laughs> what a kick. He got what it. A kick. Anasta has nailed it. Brave Anasta has kicked the drop goal. Oh, what a finish. It is that is sensational. As soon as he hit that, he just kept running great. He knew he'd nailed it. What a great finish to a semi-final. That is so exciting. Did we see a scrum against the boot? That went, no, he just Hyde, didn't dive on oh, it. it. It hit the foot of Andrew Fafita and that put Chris Hyington off. Oh, I can't believe it. That was some sort of special play they were doing and he just stood it, watched the ball and as soon as he hit it, he went, I've got it. Uh, this 
This is stupendous. This has almost become indescribable. And you've got to think going into Golden Point that the Roosters are so much on top here. They played Golden Point before in round 22, 2007. And the Roosters won not with the drop goal. They won with the try, 26-22. Right? And the good news for the Tigers is uh, interchanges, two interchanges for each team. So they get back to their full complement of 13 players. And still no Benji. He won't make a return by the look of it. He's cast on the sideline. Breaks giving it to his players, saying, come on, boys, we're going home. Well, Keith Galloway has gone out there for the Tigers. Freddie, golden point. It didn't look like it for much of the game, but surely the Roosters are surging on the momentum now. That was one of the strangest things, watching that scrum unfold. It was like it was in slow motion. I'm just up with the Tigers now, trying to get a bit of a vibe on what's going on. Tim Sheen's a on nerves of steel. I think he actually really feels that he's got a second chance anyway. He doesn't look that desperate. I've seen him go mental on the sideline, going crazy. But he's just sitting there, just throwing out a few orders. Benji's sitting back talking to him. He's got the ice on the right knee. They look pretty calm on the left. On the right, oh, they're excited. <laughs> they're excited. They know how, if you're losing at six, they know you could be in trouble. Here we go. Golden point. Breitha Nasta then kicks off the golden point period. Galloway back to the 20 metre line. We'll play it for Farah. Now for Fafita. Beating one, tries to trample through another. But Anasta, the name of the moment, makes the tackle before Kennedy completed it. Fulton reaches 30. And David Middleton just tells me, Ray, that this is the first ever finals game to go to golden point. Todd Payton, five from the halfway line. They're not going to get an opportunity on this set. It's with Louis across Hyington up the middle. So they're 42 out. And keep in mind, Benji's out of the game. They pass on the last. Farah puts it down. The bounce good for Minicello. And Minicello is taken by Louis. So now the Tigers, they will work. They will work for a mistake. They mustn't give a penalty. It is with Kenny Dow, just outside his 20 metre line. We'll take you to Penrith for Penrith and Canberra. Immediately this match is over and we'll more than likely be joining that game after it has started. So it's with Linnett now on the 40 metre line. And Ray, obviously unlike a club match where you can have a draw, the players will just keep playing until we get a result tonight as Riles. Last tackle, plays it halfway to the right to Mitchell Pearce, drives it into the corner behind Takiri. So Pearce's kick is going to make, oh yes it is, it's made, it made the dead ball line. I was about to say it's going to make Takiri play at it, but it made the dead ball line. Now, the tragic thing for the Tigers, as uh, Tim Sheen's barks instructions, is because there's no Benji, We've seen Benji kick field goals from, what, 45, 50, even over the halfway line. He's not there. I don't think there's anyone else in that team can kick him from that far out. So they need to go deep down in the Roosters' territory, the Tigers, to have a shot. Fafita, outside 30, Galloway, through the middle. Farah, a scoop and a go. And still going, the little number nine captain. He's 45 away, four tackles gone. Coming up to the third minute of the first session of Golden Point Extra Time. Bo Ryan will play this ball. Farrah. They'll go straight away to Farrah. He's going to have a go. He puts a kick on it, but it's miles short. And that's a perfect example of how they're disadvantaged with no Benji. Now for Kenny Dow, running off Minicello. Tackled over there by Bryce Gibbs. Now it's with Perrett. Now it's come back and away from Pierce. It's gone to Carney now, and he'll play the ball near the halfway line. I just don't see how the Tigers can hold them out. All the running is with the Roosters. There's a try in the Roosters. They'll take the point if they can. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's a long-range try from them. It's Phil Graham, centre field, tries to head that way. Peyton making the tackle. 
He's made a lot of contribution. Here's a long range shot from Carney, charged down by Bryce Gibbs, is it? I think it's Bryce Gibbs. That's a big play by oh, Gibbs. Yeah. And this is their chance now, the Tigers. Now they've got to work it in close. And that's obvious for Farrah. Unless Robert Louis has a shot. Now it's with Galloway. Now they're 32 metres away. Third tackle is gone. Bo Ryan pinches five more. Robert Louis the dummy half. He runs it. He goes inside the 20 metre line. Farrah's now there. it's got to go to Farrah. It's on the fifth. He puts the shot up. Farrah puts pushed the it. kick up. Pushed it. And he's pushed it to the left. I don't know that they'll get a better opportunity than that one. No, it was a great chance. Good pressure coming from his inside. And he spliced it left of the post. Robert Louis has kicked one this year. But he wasn't in the position to, to kick it. He, he was the one taking it towards the post. As Jason Riles brings it out into the final 45 seconds of this first five minute period. New Asala. 15 all at the end of regular time. Minicello dropping it back for Orbison to be tackled again by Gibbs. What a game the big bench front rower has had. Pierce with a torpedo bullet and it's gone to Linnett and across there is Ashford playing it for Graham now for Nasta he goes for a long ranger but it's gone down on the 10 metre line to Takiri oh he's been taken out without the ball Takiri referee Hayne is indicating at the moment I think play on I've got it and he's called time He's called time. I thought for a moment he might have been going to give them a penalty. Someone call me an ambulance. Don't, don't, I, I, don't, don't, don't go don't down on me, please. Don't, don't. I do think the Roosters have had two chances there. I think they went one tackle early on both occasions. They needed just they could have had a chance to get another five, ten metres closer. I mean, Braith has kicked them from long ranges as well, but uh, it's a bit far out, that one. Now they just gather their thoughts. But Bryce Gibbs did a great job to charge down to put his team in a good position. That was the earlier one. That's the charge down from Gibbs. Big play from the front row, back from injury. And Robbie will be very, very disappointed with that because he knows he might not get a better one opportunity. This bounced a bit nastily for Roddy Takiri. That could have been embarrassing if Sam Perrin had a cleaned up on the way through. I think Shane Hayne had made the decision that he played at the ball, Takiri, and the defence man was entitled to do what he did. I've just been told that Penrith and Canberra have just run onto the field up at CUA. We will stay with this match, of course, and get you to Penrith as quickly as we can. Played by Riles. Here is Perrett with the ball on his own 30 metre line. Roosters running away from the Moor Park Road into the ground now and with uh, Kenny Dow. It's just play on now, right? No, no second five minutes. We, we play to a result. So Kennedy gets a just into the opposition half. A friend, oh, it's good over the shoulder of Yosala. Might have gone forward, it did just fractionally, according to the ref. So the Tigers now will get an opportunity because they will get the scrum win, you would think, and they should get it down in range for Farrah. But look, Ray, I, I know that Farrah is the obvious target. He's kicked, one. Has kicked, well, look, he's kicked one this year, and I think that. Now, Robbie Farrow could actually be the best decoy out there. If he positions himself left side, they'll, they'll view him as the, as the target. If Robert can get on the right side, then he might have a, a less pressured attempt. In fact, that's exactly what happened in the match I'm trying to recall, exactly. But everybody was looking at Marshall and Farrah and Louis. He had no attention, no pressure on him at all. He just simply potted the goal. That may be what they will do now. We'll watch it closely as they get down deep into the tackle count. 
They're nine metres into Rooster's area now. With Brown, 35 away. Farrah dummy half. Fulton goes back. Pushes it over for Ashford. Tries to fend away from Carney. But at the 30 metre line, he's held down by Graham. And he's a little bit slow to rise. Ashford, it's come over to Liam Fulton now. And Fulton goes across the park. So they really haven't done anything with it other than to centralise play at the moment. Galloway is tackled. They're 28 out. Farrah's gone to Louis. There goes the kick from Louis. And missed. he not, has pushed it away. Now gone to the left. He has pushed it away. He had a good shot on that. Plenty of time. Good, good pressure though by oh. Nusala. <laughs> Didn't miss by much, did it? Oh, he oh, thought he got flat. it, I think. So the Roosters, it's your turn. On the 30 metre line. And it is with a Nasta. This could be half time at Penrith Camber by the time we get to them. Minicello, Kani, Nusala. And he's put down in a, an aggressive tackle. Good tackle. Peyton again underneath. And Murdoch Masila over the top. Kennedy has trampled over the top of Fulton. He's pulled down by Dwyer on the halfway. Carney pushing it. Pierce on over halfway. Minicello on to Kenny Dow. Now it's with Perrett. Lofts the ball into Pierce. Pierce, that was played out and probably touched by Murdoch. Oh, yeah. Up. Yes, it's six more tackles. Here goes Carney taking it over to the other side of the ground. And Dwyer picks him up and puts him down. So it's the first. It's the zero, in fact. And it's Graham with the ball. He'll play it on the 40-metre line. And it's come away for, for Riles to find Friend. Now Minicello waving them in. And he'll play the ball 35 out. Their kickers are based in the middle of the ground. Pierce for one. Well, I hope they don't just think kick Ray. Now they've got all the running. There's a try there if, if they can persevere. As Mitchell Pierce comes back to his kicking leg. Finds Minicello on to Orbison. Orbison then to the 10 metre line. Nine metres out. He'll play the ball on the fourth tackle. So they most certainly will go to the middle this time. And that's where they are. Carney with time. Charge down Payton. Goes back to Galloway. Oh, another big play by another of the prop forwards. Todd Payton firstly, and then Galloway. It's been a match of some incredible athleticism. Here is Fulton. And some heroics. Huge play there from... Todd Payton as Blake Ashford only picks up a metre out of the side. Coming up to the 89th and a half that's minute mark. Jason. That's the last tackle now. Really struggling to find ground, the Tigers. Played by Brown. Farrah puts a little kick in. The chase is on. He's after it. So is Anasta. He catches, passes quickly. Minicello goes left side. Graham comes back outside the 30 metre line. Freddie, can you find out about Gareth Ellis? He's been out for a long time as well. I'm wondering whether he's unavailable to come back into this match. When he walked past, I asked Dixie, who's one of their trainers, and I asked him if he was OK. He looked like he was, wasn't moving that well, but he said he was OK. He was just buggered, actually. Oh, Here we go. Kenny Dow. Kenny Dow off his right foot. He beats one, but eventually Todd Payton again. Todd Payton again. Orbison on to Pierce at the 20, on to Carney, shapes to kick, tries to break them, and had the offer from Minicello, plays the ball, 15 out, Pierce, he takes the shot, Mitchell Pierce away, Mitchell Pierce goes wide. Well, both teams have used all their interchange, so Gareth Ellis will not be coming back. What you see is what you get. And that's how they'll finish as Liam Fulton brings it back. Mitchell Pierce. Uh, there, you, you don't even watch the goal, the, the ball as it goes to the post. I just watch the players around. You can tell from the reaction. But it's so good. Every field goal has been rushed because of the defence, desperate defence charging down. Tigers have missed three, the Roosters two. Penrith and Canberra have just kicked off. We'll get you there as soon as we can. Here is Galloway. 
Tigers, they don't look like they've got the petrol to run the ball over the strike. But the Roosters do. But still they persist in drop goal. Farrah comes away. Oh, oh. Clayton <laughs> Matthews got forward to oh. Louie. And That's Jason a... Riles are saying, what about a penalty? I saw a penalty for a forward pass in, in a game earlier this yeah. season, mate. Tomato Tahu, Paramount Dragons. Deliberate forward pass. Looks like Brett Favre threw that one. <laughs> Have a look at it. He's at two metres offside. That's not deliberate. Not like the other one I saw this year. Is that, is that, you're a rules expert, right? Has that rule been rubbed out of the book? No, it hasn't been rubbed out of the book. And it should have been a penalty, in my opinion. He's passed the ball to a player in an offside yeah. position. Because we've seen one this year. I understand we've only seen one this year. Jason Riles, I'm sure, was asking the question. I can't believe he got turned down. So, Pierce feeds the scrum. And it's gone over to Carney. He's taken by Ashford. How deep into this second session are we? It's Minicello. Well, they're the men, obviously. Mitchell Pierce, Todd Carney. Tiring defence, their footwork. That's the danger for the West Tigers, is, is the brilliant individualism with their feet from the six and seven. Play by Miles. Now for Ryan. No, oh, that's a good one. He's got them 38 away from the line. Pierce to the short side. Orbison down quickly. 25 out, five gone. Farrell the tackler. Kenny Dow dummy half. Mitchell Pierce again. Nailed that Mitchell one. Pierce again. Mitchell Pierce Ooh. has pushed it again. So it goes on. And so it goes close. And still we're at 15 15. 15 all. We'll take new balls after six games. What a night. And that over 40 years of this, and I'll tell you, I can't remember something quite as incredible as this. It is mouth watering stuff, it's draining. The fat has called for an ambulance. Murdoch Masila plays it. Louis back for Gibbs. It is that incredible. You would think Bryce Gibbs might run 75 metres and score the first try he scored since the 05 Grand Final. The oh, kick! Oh, oh. He's touched that ball! No! Sam Perrin has touched the ball! And it'll be a scrum! Inside the 30 for the Tigers. Well, pressure does amazing things. Sam Parrott, one of the most reliable wingers in the game. Robbie Farrell was trying for a 40-20, but it was nowhere near the 20. And if, if Sam Parrott leaves it, it was either destined to just go over the sideline and one bounce or possibly on the full. He just had to let it go, Sam, and he knows it. Seasoned performer, international pressure. Does incredible things. Fifteen minutes of extra time. After eighty minutes of bruising, grueling football. Now they put their bodies to the supreme test. The scrum is won by the Tigers. Louis so runs a half go. circle. Surely they played this smart, give themselves plenty of room, plenty of time. Galloway back to Farrah. Farrah comes back to Peyton. Peyton to the 10 That's metre line. Here it is, he plays it. Farrah goes short side for Lottie to Kiri. And he is tackled on the third, two metres away. Farrah goes back to Louis. It was a bad ball for him. He had to reach down even if he was the intended kicker. Fulton goes over. Aceford, they might have. Oh, I thought for a moment they had the numbers. Aceford, Aceford still going. And he thrust the ball down. So the restart of this one is interesting. It's a 10 metre scrum. And the Roosters' defence, they were outnumbered, but they got there. Semi finals bring out the best in all these players. And they just came from everywhere. 
Braith joined in as well. And I know it seems a long, long time ago because it was the opening 15 minutes of this match crucial to the Roosters. But they didn't let the Tigers skip further away than what the halftime lead was. Just wondering about this restart. They've taken the corner post. It's part of the in goal. It's part of the dead ball. I would have thought it would have been a 20-meter tap. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've misread it. Kenny Dow with the ball. Now it's from Friend. This is Kennedy. Met by Galloway and Peyton. Well, the Roosters should have learnt from their last try. Go straight from dummy half, take on the defence straight, and get their little men working off that. That's where they can win this game, the Roosters. Down the middle, and that'll open it up. Carney there, early, drives it down, looking for 40-20. And he's crossed the line just outside the 20. Many of these players now starting to cramp. Ashford has got cramp. Farrah's got cramp. Louis has a problem. 98 minutes we've been going. I think the longest game I've ever sat through was a Super League. Was it a Super League game? Tri Nations. Tri Nations, 107 minutes, something like that. Tri Series. Sorry. Tri Series it was. Tri Series at ANZ Stadium, Brisbane many years ago. <clears throat> Penrith and Canberra haven't been going long. So, Brown is with the ball. <clears throat> Pardon me. Brown is with the ball. He's 50, no, he's 25 away. So, Ashford for Louis and then for Fulton. And Fulton is taken down. 25 out. Somebody on the telephone in the back play. Take no more for either of the favourites. This is Murdoch Masila. The rookie on debut. What a match to come into a first grade career. Farrah got a ball from Galloway. It bounces away for Aceford on the right side of the ground. And he's put down on the 40 metre line on tackle number four. And they come back to the middle. And Fulton is there. Fulton goes on to Louis. Louis goes short in for Peyton. Peyton does the same for Fulton. Intercepted by Kenny Dow. Gibbs is after him. Fulton's after him. They are not going to get him, although here's Simon Dwyer late to Kerry late. But it's Kenny Dow. Kenny Dow has scored his 21st try of the season to win in extra time. The Roosters have won it. 19-15 with the kick to come. Let's go straight. No kick required. Correct. He hits it. He's yes! got it. He's got the field goal. He's got it.